the live stream of the video card repair. This is the Intergriff Intense 3D Voodoo, which has two 3D FX chips right there. Alliance Semiconductor, I believe that's the 2D processor, 6 megabytes of memory. Here's a little bio chip right there. That's PLCC. Um, well, QFP, PLCC, whatever. Um, what else is this? I think I've done a video about this, but I haven't gotten to like the repair process of this. So it's basically part two of the overview. Um, it also has this on here as well. The Crontel CH7002B AUC. And I was trying to figure like what this thing was for the longest time. When I had the, this when I got this card back in May, I don't know, January. Um get my focus. Okay, so this port right here, that's for a VR headset, which is actually pretty darn cool. Then you have the uh, normal 15 pin VGA out, composite out, S video out. Um, so it's basically like I'm a Voodoo Rush or Voodoo Banshee um, variant. And currently, I had to reflow the GPU. Out of the well, I reflowed the semiconductor, a 3D FX chips, just a little bit. Great, I think I got two of them messed up there. <sighs> oh no, it's just the one brush I was using. Apparently, the apparently it is integrated. I top of them on when I was trying to scuff the game, I was scuffing the game thing. Like, I mean, I got a couple of mess up there. Nope, that just turned out of the... One of the little bristles from that blue brush I have. Um, you are, not eroded, but what's the other word I'm looking for? Didn't look too promising. And then the gold plate um, context right here. Um, yeah, I was not too careful. So I need to figure out how to remove, how to remove it, how to fix it. I did find a video of how to fix it, but I'm not sure if that's actually a very good thing to do. So, while this is drying off, I have to use the flex remover for PC boards. It does a pretty darn good job removing leftover flex on the uh, logic boards. I've had this for, let's say, a couple years now. Not that bad. Of course, I have different spray bottles and everything else. I have a can of compressor. I have two of these to help dry it up fast. Plain distilled water. So it's labeled plain D water. Soapy distilled water. I also have IPA 91% in here right now. I have 99.9 .9 in a canister. It's basically like something like that. Well, sorry, something like this. It does a pretty darn good job. And then I have a couple brushes. I really need to clean these bolts here because. With the flux on there, it makes it really impossible to grab everything. So that's why I have a spare one. I may have another one somewhere, but I can't see. No, I just only have the three. Actually, I have a fourth one, but apparently that wandered off and disappeared without a trace. Um, 
anyway. So yeah, this, this is the brush I would normally use right now. Of course, I have to clean that. I still have to fix that Jetway motherboard. Of course, there's a lot of, thing, a lot of pins that have corrosion on them, so I have to use the rosin plugs that I have right here. That's what I got. K green rosin non spill soldering flux. I gotta say, that's actually a pretty darn good flux right there. I had the uh, non clean flux, but I kept leaving, leaving residue all over the place. All over the motherboard and everything else. Was and the sound card that I was working on at the time. An S6 Sun Galaxy NX Pro 916, which is an A386 right there. Um, please excuse the mess. I, have, I really need to move all this crap out of here. So that way I can set up my desk in here. Because pretty soon I'm going to be working from home. Especially with a snowstorm that's coming and everything. I don't want to take any changes driving and getting myself killed or anything like that. That's one girl that I really, they, well, I won't say that I fell in love with her, but I didn't know why to say that on Twitter because I just want people to know about what the heck's going on or anything like that. But this one girl that I really like, um, she's not too into us, so I feel bad for her. There's always something I can do for her. I even thought about just like, Sending her flowers and everything, but I don't have her address. The only thing I have is just her phone number. I have, oh, I'm sorry, email address. I gave her my phone number, my email address, and a couple other things. So that they, um, she needs someone to talk to. She can talk to me because I'm there for her. And she's, like I said, she's not doing too well. And I'm getting kind of bummed out because I was afraid that something terrible was going to happen. Crying in my sleep because I always think something terrible is going to happen to that beautiful lady. So anyway, while we're on the subject of video cards here, I never had something like this before. This actually at first I paid like fifty six bucks plus shipping and handling in Texas. It was local in my state. I didn't realize it. <laughs> How lucky can you be? And here's the bottom of it. A silk screen right there. Really big letters. Intense 3D voodoo. And I did find something on there that makes the uh, they can get like a play tennis back on like anything um, like this. But a lot of people don't trust them. I trust it, but as long as it works for a long period of time, you're good. One thing I need, really need to buy is that certain tape that you just put over these gold plated contacts. So that way when you're soldering, it doesn't go on to the contacts, especially these eyelids. But um, yeah, eyelids, it's no big deal anyways. So I can't test the card until I get something to revive these pins here. And I can go play it. May as well. May as well do all of them. Like we gold. I think that's gold play. I'm actually not really certain what color that is. Probably is gold play. I am just not really good with the colors. And of course my focus just keeps... Flickering. There we go. Come on, focus. There we go. So yeah, I gotta fix it. Anyway, also it's a do re it's a reflow all the RAM because of the issues I was facing. Yes, SLD I missed a line. Now I get to watch how it, now I do this stuff. Set the soldering iron to 250 to let it warm up. So that way I can tin it, but unfortunately, 
I might run up and then crank up to 350. Right, and then once that flashes, I'm going to go set it to 400. This is in Fahrenheit, and just so you know, flashing light warning. So if you suffer from epilepsy or seizures, please feel free to not stare into the abyss. I hate the light. I don't want you guys to get all pissed off at me. I'm trying to figure which one it was. I think it's this one over here. You guys get to witness my list. Probably not gonna have any viewers because it's four o'clock in the morning and a lot of people probably don't even have power because of with all the storm with the snowstorm that's occurring in Nima North Northeastern Seaboard and everything. As I say, we're going to get five to eight inches of snow on Monday night. Of course, that's when it's going to be at the office. So the choice of working at the office. I'm so freaking lucky that I'm actually working. I actually found a job. Well, on August 31st, I made a wish. To get, get a job, there was a shooting star that was above my head. And I guess sorry first, I'm like, like, it, well, actually, I was recording the moon and the witch of war video taped the shooting star above my head. But I say, lightly made a wish, and then my wish came through. It came true. Got a job. And I was like, pretty damn lucky to actually get a job because you know, a lot of people are still suffering out there. Especially with this pandemic still going around. The second wave, maybe third. As long as people stick together and don't go crazy. I know a lot of people are just so upset about this. A lot of people are still saying it's a hoax. A lot of people are still afraid. A lot of people lost their a lot of people lost their lives here in the United States. A lot of people lost their loved ones due to all of us. Coworkers, friends, acquaintances. Um people they just met. I know a lot I know it's it's rough out there, folks. But hang in there. We're all in this together. And above all, stay safe out there, okay? I know it's tough out there. I've been having so much pain in my life, it's not even funny. When all this whole thing started, I started getting more clinically depressed. Um, but. A lot of bad things have been happening. And I just noticed that the, uh, the little stud right here is a little bit shorter than this one. So, yeah, that's a pain in the rear end. I don't know who would do that. <coughs> I'm, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be 
it's probably supposed to be even light. That's probably why the video. That's probably why the video card. Video card. The video signal was was a little bit flaky, but. Anyway, so yeah, my year of 2020 was down the crapper for me anyways. For a lot of people, actually, too. The reason why it was worse for me is because my car had no brakes. Well, I was doing some testing in my car. When... I was going to go drive somewhere. I was going to go take my brother somewhere. I'm like, yeah, I was testing my brakes. Thankfully, I did. Thankfully, I tested my brakes. That's when I noticed that the little brake light turned on. No, it's not the parking brake light. It's the, the, the well, yeah, yeah, what in the circle, letter P or something like that. In my car. The only things that show up, I, they have sign, like uh, the actual, let's say the sign, that sign. Okay, so I have, excuse me. Like the old coolant light, the battery light, the seatbelt, and airbag light are the only, well, they have the high beam light. Those are the only ones that have the actual icons. The rest of them are just words like service engines, zoom, service vehicles. So when the analog brake pump backs up, I think it's because my tire, my right front tire, really needs to get cleaned. Well, actually, both my front tires need to be cleaned off, including my rear. Rear ones are still in the air, which is actually quite surprising. But they're not in the best shape on the inside. The outside, they're still pretty good. The inside, not so much. I get warped, so I gotta go get new tires for my car. Might as well get new tires for the rear, new rims for the whole four night for the whole four tires. I got gang um, steel wheels, and then pretty soon I'll be testing this bad boy. This uh, Creative CR five six three B CD ROM drive. I do have a sound card installed for that, but I'm planning on swapping it to a different one anyways. Um, but it wouldn't hurt to put that in here just for um, happiness and nostalgia. And I'm trying to figure out if I should hook up a CD burner to this thing, but Anyway, look how nice and clean that is. Well, with the exception of the vine wheel. That still needs to get a little bit of cleaning out, but... But it's actually not even in bad shape. It's not even yellow. It's a little bit scuffed up. And I gotta say, this C drive actually looks pretty darn good for a hold it is. I of course coming from Florida. The drive itself was a little loose, like this on my tray was open. I got it too close, I had to open it. And and show a clue. And real test is to plug it into the computer to the Molex power connector and then push the eject button, see if it opens or closes. If it opens without any problems, like if it opens up without a problem, without it, like in my feel like it's going so slow, I'll qualify for a, a third stimulus check. Um, then I'll be using it for something, but um, it looks like it's a little bit uneven. That's bad. Actually, my own right, and the other CD drives I have are like that too.
So that's the one. This is the one that's in my packer bell. I had to swap the, the front bezel, including the volume wheel and the tray around for both of these drives. So that one that makes a clunking noise when you open and close it. And when it's reading, so you need, or something like that, the laser head assembly needs to be fixed. I still, but it still reads CDs just fine, which is needs something to be desired. Now this one I got back in November 2018. Well, within front bezel and everything, at any rate. And unfortunately, it was not ejecting. So I took it apart, took the CD out. And my push the open thing, my push the eject button, it was going, it was going like this. Like it was opening and closing very slowly. Turned out the motor was completely seized for the eject mechanism. So I swapped out one from a broken CD ROM drive, put it on here by soldering the wires together, and then plugged in my test bench power well, my top testing power supply and then the CD drive opened and closed without a problem then I got that one and unfortunately like I said that one has the uh, eject not the laser head mechanism so that is making that horrible horrible noise when it's reading discs like seeking the laser head assembly and everything it's making a really bad noise this one is quiet as a mouse. Well, except the mouse in the house, in my house. And this one I haven't tested yet. Also, I have an Epson SD800 I'm going to be putting in here um, to replace a five and a quarter inch and a three and a half inch drive, so we can put that PCMC eight bit. Oh, sorry, X S eight ISC kit in this computer so that way I can actually put a sound sound card and that or network card. Yeah network card in it. And possibly one of those things that's gonna have flash memory flash and my storage units. So that way I can copy files from this computer to the Austin laptop without a problem. Um or another thing that I can do is I can just leave this in here. Actually, I should probably try to find something that will cover this so we can put the three and a half inch hard drive right here. And then put the five and a quarter, the dual floppy drive right here. You get 360k drive. So I can start making 360k this get so I can so if I get like a an XT computer that only uses 360k drives that way I could be able to write files to that. I'm gonna put this guy so I can of DOS 2.1. Now you gotta get to see. Anyway. I know I'm not going to have any viewers in here, but um, in case you guys like to watch it, or the, the stream, feel free to come onto my Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash retropz user. Unfortunately, you won't be able to make a comment in the section here because it goes by the live stream. And, which is rather unfortunate. I know YouTube, the same thing. It does, does it. Anyway, this card is starting to get a little sticky there still. Yeah, I gotta spray some more of that crap. That. Um, flex remover. So, anyway, there's that. Thank you very much for watching. And, like I said, feel free to go to my Twitch, twitch.tv slash user.
And this one will be on the uh, the previous broadcast section, or you can go to my my feed, and I, you may be able to see all the you know, streams I've done. Anyway, I gotta get to sleep because I have work tomorrow, and I gotta cut a piece of metal that's like twenty one and five eighths inches by two inches. I'm sorry, two and a quarter inches for my. Um, Or the thing that I can't remember what it's called. I'll eventually get it. Oh, that's right. It's a. Let's see what. You have to fix my Uber scooper. I have to cut a piece of metal and everything to put around it. I need to figure out how to do that. But I have to measure the inside one. And then the outside. And then the underside. Or the outside one. Like, I have to cut. Let's see that too. Let's see here. It needs to be like 24 inches per thing by two, and by like one inch or two. That way, I can use my self tapping screws to hold the uh, piece of metal in place and then get some JB quick weld. Put the bottom uh, to like put in the crease and everything so we won't see sure, but of course, I have to buy that stuff, anyways. Anyway, thank you for watching and stay tuned for the Payne Pro update once I get this card working.